there's still a lot we don't know about the SARS-CoV-2 virus. To stand a chance of defeating it, we first need to understand how it works and why it's so successful. Scientists at Cambridge University's Gurdon Institute and Justus Liebig University, Germany, have taken us one step closer to achieving that by revealing for the first time the entire shape of the SARS-CoV-2 genome inside the host cell. Coronaviruses, and in particular SARS-CoV-2, they have huge genomes, about three to four times bigger than an average RNA genome. And we know that much of this function is embedded within the structure of those genomes. If we want to understand how they replicate, how they produce the virus proteins, we have to first ask how they look like. As RNA biologists, we're really lucky to team up with coronavirus experts Friedman Weber from Germany and his postdoc Ludmila Shalomova. Previously, Dr. Omer Ziv from the Miska Lab and a team of collaborators were researching another RNA virus, Zika. When the pandemic hit, they used the same tools they had developed to investigate that virus to uncover the structure of SARS-CoV-2. RNA structure and RNA-RNA interactions are very fragile. In order to study those, we need first to extract them from the cells. But during extraction, we usually disrupt all the information. So the new method enabled us to take a snapshot of the different interactions as they occur inside the cells during replication. The method revealed a network of RNA-RNA interactions spanning long sections of the genome. So far, people have assumed that if there are interactions along an RNA molecule, they occur within a short distance. What we find is that RNA interactions can span distance of tens of thousands of nucleotides spanning the entire genome. Such interaction will completely transform the overall topology of the molecule, enable it to engage in different biology. Collaborator Dr. John Price has developed a free, open access website hosting the entire RNA structure of SARS-CoV-2, making their findings available for researchers to use worldwide. One of the first steps toward fighting viruses, such as coronaviruses, is to be prepared. Be prepared by understanding the biology, understanding the molecular mechanisms. The more we identify, the more we understand how those viruses replicate, how they take over the cell machinery, how they produce proteins, the more we understand, the better we can come up with new antiviral strategies.